Let's make chicken biryani the right way. This was highly requested. That is top tier. First things first, we're gonna make our biryani masala. This spice mix is composed of cinnamon stick and bay leaf. Over here, I have coriander seed, cloves, black peppercorns, and fennel seed. I'm gonna add black and green cardamom. And then we're gonna finish with some star anise. Now on a medium low heat, we're gonna lightly toast these for a couple minutes. Once these spices start hitting your nose, toss them into a spice grinder. And then we just wanna blitz this into a nice fine powder. The smell in this kitchen is already incredible. Time for some crispy onions. Try to get very equal but thin slices. One for the onions, zero for golden balance. A little secret for your crispy onions, toss your onions in a pan when it's cold and then you want to submerge them in a neutral oil and then just turn on the heat and let them cook quick tip you could peel your ginger with a spoon introduce peeled cloves of heartburn to the ginger and then just mash them into a paste consistency for our chicken of choice i'm going to be using some skin on drumsticks i feel like these are most optimal for biryani to the drums i'm going to add some full fat yogurt the garlic and ginger paste a healthy spoonful of our biryani masala a nice spoonful of kashmiri red chili powder some turmeric and a green chili and then we're going to finish with a smooch of lemon juice make sure you salt this operation very well and then we're just gonna mix and marinate until we lose patience. For our rice, we're gonna be using an Indian white basmati rice. This is an extra long grain and it's naturally aged. With cold water, wash it thoroughly until the water runs clear. Then we're gonna soak the rice 15 to 30 minutes. To some boiling water, I want you to add some star anise, clove, and cardamom, a cinnamon stick, and some bay leaf. I'm gonna salt this water generously and I've learned to add some biryani masala. Now, our washed basmati rice is gonna join the party. We're gonna allow the rice to boil for just a couple minutes and we're going for a 60% cook. I actually learned this tip from Gully. Your rice is still parboil i'm just gonna lay it out on a rack we're actually gonna let our rice cool down start with a nice heap of ghee and then we're gonna gently lay in our marinated chicken mm, i'm gonna change pots i don't like this one toss in a hefty amount of cilantro and mint a very nice handful of those crispy onions then i want you to add half your basmati rice on top of the first layer of rice we're gonna add more cilantro more mint more crispy onions sprinkle on nice dollops of ghee and then i season this with a little bit more biryani masala hit this with a quick pinch of salt and then we're gonna add our final layer of rice final layer of mint and cilantro go on more more crispy onions, sprinkle or drizzle on a little bit more ghee. By the way, this was just sitting in the fridge, that's why it's solidified. Finally, one more light pinch of salt and biryani masala. And then we're gonna finish with some seep saffron water. Make sure it's sealed nice and tight. First layer of aluminum foil goes on. Cover your pot with a lid. And then we're gonna cook this low and slow for about 30 minutes. So to recap, ghee marinated chicken. Then we did cilantro, mint, onion, biryani masala, salt. Repeat that process. Rice, and then top it off one more time, but add some saffron water. After about 30 minutes, I'm gonna kill the heat and just let it sit for about 15 more. It's the moment of truth. Ooh. Oh, that smells so good. This looks gorgeous. Just look how fluffy the rice came out. This plate is a masterpiece. Just look how tender and juicy that chicken is. A little bit of that rice. And as always, now bismillah. Honest to God, that is fabulous. Five minute update, I'm destroying this plate. After you make this, you're gonna love me forever.